Yep. I knew I'd find you here. Right on time for Spooky Scary Sunday, huh? I was just taking a minute, thinking back to how this all started. You know, when I saw this house, I never knew that I was going to break in and dispatch of everyone inside. Really, I was just trying to find some place to live. Things escalated and, well, you guys know the rest. <laughs> I mean, you did help out after all. Honestly, I think the coolest part is we have somewhere to watch all our scary videos. Am I right? <laughs> all right, guys. I must admit, I am very well pleased with you all. Spooky Scary Sunday has become a series on the channel that is performed outstandingly every single week, grossing over 100,000 likes for each video. I mean the warmness that I feel in my heart for you guys. And by warm, I don't mean warm as in the blood that I washed off my hands this morning from dealing with the person that knocked on my door while I was trying to sleep. I mean warm in a different way, like you guys make me happy, joyous, spooky scary Sundays. <sighs> Can't get enough of them. So if you don't know what spooky scary Sunday is by now, then um, hopefully you just subscribed. If you haven't just subscribed and you don't know what spooky scary Sunday is by now, why the freak? Are you skipping all the videos that I upload on Sunday? Because that's the only- <clears throat> I don't know what that was. But just in case you don't know, Spooky Scary Sunday is the show where every Sunday, we come together as a community, the samurai, the tribe itself. We sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and watch some scary videos that you guys have sent in via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go on Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin, give you a second. Use the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and then leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video makes it on the episode, you get a shout out. So go ahead, get you some M&Ms, a strawberry milk, and maybe a chocolate chip cookie. And with that being said, first video. <laughs> Now the first video of this week is called Elf on the Shelf and it was uploaded by friends over at Crip TV. How's it going Crip? Now this was sent to us by Kyron Fields. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, all the rest of y'all samurai. Go ahead, scoot your booty on over. Hey Kai, can I call you Kai? How's it going? I just want to say, Kai, look, you ain't have to go above and beyond of sending me this video for Spooky Scary Sunday, but you did anyway. And for that, here, your reward. This neutral grain bar. Kai, take Kai, open your hand up and take the Kai, take the neutral grain bar. Babe, come over. Pizza's almost here. Man, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna throw him in his room anyways. Oh, that doorknob. Just Door get over here, please. Ugh, Thank pancakes! You. Thanks. Bro, she is mad rude, and she- Alright, bedtime, Torp, let's go. What? It's like 8.15. Sounds like bedtime to me, come on. I don't even have a bedtime. Plus, it's Christmas Eve. Hey, come back here, you little sh- Hey, babe. <laughs> this is like the cringiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my man just gonna bust in the house like that. Why didn't she lock the door? Why didn't she tip the pizza man? Dude came in the house like, hey, look how my man aggressively opened his door. Come back here, you little shit. Hey, babe. Hey. Come on. Get down there. What the? Rat. They called him It's over. Christmas. No one cares but me. Just wish you were real and I could do whatever I want. How they gonna call him a rat, though? Ugh. Oh, okay. Kids, look away. That's what my parents used to say. They used to say L.A. That means look away. Uh. Uh. Oh, you're dead.
I don't have any words, but watch that elf on the shelf. <laughs>
It was really close to my bus stop, so it only took me maybe about five minutes to walk there. When I arrived at the door to the building, I grabbed my key and was about to put it in the keyhole. When I saw in the corner of my eye, peeking out from the building's corner, How did he make it here that quick? And the light blue jacket standing, looking at me. I quickly oh. unlocked the door, oh. ran inside, locked it behind me. After that, it was two more doors. Both needed an access card. Hey, he so ain't nobody in. without the card could get inside. Nope. After the first door, it was a long hallway. To the left, only lit up by a few lights in the roof and a ring in front of you. It was the second door that my led to my locker in the now. coffee room. I ran as fast as I could. I was shaking at this time. There was no way I could think of how he could have got down here so fast. I put on some coffee and changed to my working clothes. It was completely quiet in the room. It felt like hours before my co-workers showed up. When they finally showed up... Say, hey, Jim. Hey, man. Good to see you, brother. Hey, bring it in. Come on. Give me a hug. Yeah, I had a rough morning. I felt the best feeling in a long time. When it was time to get started with working, we began walking towards the elevator that led up to the nah, top floor, like, which I'll we were currently working now. on. When we arrived at the top floor, I realized I forgot my helmet in the locker. So I took the elevator down, went through the two doors, and got my helmet. Nice I was going. making my way back up to the others. When I had opened the first door and was standing in the dark hallway, I froze. I heard someone whispering my name from the back of the hallway. I looked down the hallway and saw the same man, the same light blue jacket. He was standing there looking at me. Then he said something I will never forget. You look so peaceful when you sleep, Victor. He said in a deep but shaking voice. I felt my whole world shatter when he said that. Then I ran for it. I opened the door and slammed it behind me. I ran to the elevator and smashed the button to the top floor. It felt like I was going 100 floors before I got to the top. I ran to the others and told them what happened. They just laughed at me and thought I was silly, saying that nobody can get in there without a card. I planned to call the police, but I didn't for some reason. Probably because I didn't want to look like a coward in front of the others. Eventually, I never saw that man again. I don't know if I was hallucinating or he was really there. I have no idea. But I never walk the same path to my bus again. And I always sleep with my curtains down, even to this day. You should do that anyway. Man. Anybody that sleep with the curtains up, the doors unlocked, or the lights on, I can't trust you. <laughs> This next video is called Gremlins Recall and it was uploaded by Ryan Patrick. This was sent to us by King Zay12. So your kingliness, I humbly thank you for this video that you have sent us today. Now you might be thinking, why did they do this? Is anything sacred? Are my kids gonna remember they can't feed it after midnight? Can't get it wet? Can't take it out in the sunlight? Well here, look, I'm worried. Uh! Because now you can feed it and it Put won't that eat. away! Soak it and it won't multiply. Bake it in sunlight and it won't melt. Why? Because Wing has finally made the Mogwai your family pet. And with one simple medication and white glove delivery to your door, call today. Because when it comes to love, who can't love him? <gasps> Bro, I want to do a video like this. Have you ever wanted to get someone killed? Call my number, like, you know. I mean, that's just an example. What the freak? I'll pay some attention now. Jesus. Is that a cattle prod? Well, they said they could take the devil out of a mogwai, but someone's always got to put them in their place. Like I always say, there's going to be good dogs and bad dogs. The ones you electrocute? Shut it. Bro, that's the Twilight girl. I'm sorry, I don't know where she gets that attitude. Little accident with your sandwich. I'll I'll make you another. You know, maybe just for us to go. Sure thing. You know them dudes that sit there with their mouth open like this. Think that teaches them anything? Hardest lesson learns when you give an animal some discipline. That's five thousand volts, right? 
Yeah. You grew up on a farm around here, huh? All right, last time I'm gonna pause it. He the type of dude that just sit there. <laughs> Made myself start crying. He the type of dude that just sit there. <laughs> he sit there like <laughs> literally nothing is going on. <laughs> he said, look how he was looking. Look, I'm sorry. I don't know where she gets that attitude. <laughs> Listen, why is your mouth open? You're not talking yet. Little accident oh with your sandwich. I'll, I'll make it. Right. You know, maybe just for us to go. Sure thing. All right. You think that teaches them anything? Hardest lesson to learn is when you give an animal some discipline. That's well, five thousand volts, right? You grew up on a farm around here, huh? My parents had some land when they were alive. We took care of horses. Not anymore. Just hoping to get to the city one day. You know, city's overrated. <clears throat> I've been driving 20 years. Trust me. Peace and quiet of a town like this, that's the way to go. And here you go. Hey. Oh, thank you. Is that one of them? Hey, this is a food establishment. Oh my god, it's adorable. Does he have a name? Get that animal out of here. Her name's Trank. She's a runt, so I like to keep separated. Now she gotta wash her hands. Man, I, I hate to impose, but you think I could just put her around a lot just for the night? It's kind of late. After midnight's tough making deliveries. Well, I don't see why not, sugar. We practically live here ourselves. Pull it to the side, bathroom's in the back. That thing is like he Is there anything me. else I can get you? Oh, hell, how about a black and white shake, huh? Sure thing. Close your mouth, man. Can you send over that whipped cream? I'm not keeping you here because I want to, believe me. Sweetie, sometimes, you know, it's just about living with what gets thrown at you. Hey. 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 Oh, look at him. He's asleep. She really about to mount a rescue mission? How did she get in there? Play with that goblin bat. What do you want? If y'all, if y'all don't know what a gremlin is, you're not supposed to feed him after midnight. That's exactly what that dude said. It's after midnight, and she just fed one. I thought Wing was advertising you can feed him whenever. Oh my gosh, bro, you would be awake by now. Uh, hit the shoddy. Hey! Where did they go? Did you touch him? Did you feed him anything? I just gave him some of the shake. What the? Got they don't normally do this? Make cocoons? I ain't supposed to. Hey! 
Hey! Sometimes the meds don't work. Speeds up their molt or something. Cheeky little things can be defective. I round them up before they know it. You're probably too young to remember what happened with Kingston Falls. So you're just breeding them and shooting them? Let's just say I'm not part of the white glove service. I'm more of a repo man to catch my drift. I'm gonna have to ask you to step inside this cab. Hold on, what? And I wouldn't come out of there unless I come back. Comprende? Uh... Alright. See ya. Okay, hon. What can I get you? Holy Christmas! <laughs> oh! Whatever happened to that lady, you just did that. Look at these. Alright, first of all, can we call the cops? Because Mr. Lone Ranger, if something happens to you, the cops still don't know about it. Oh, I'm blasting you. And y'all wonder how I'm a genius. I literally just said if something happens to him, the cops don't know about it. <sighs> All I'm saying is if I get cash for it. You got so many people killed. Bella from Vampire Diaries, I mean. What you trying to check me? Get back. Yeah. Now look at you. Doing the Harlem shake. He got bit. Is he gonna turn into one? Oh my! That thing said 313. Oh hell. I thought I told you stay again. Bro, throw something at that. He about to bust a cap in him. You won't have to look where you're going. Don't keep out of my way. Listen, partner. It's just you and I go our separate ways. Oh! What the freak are we watching? Alive? Can we head to the city? Can you get me there? Let's kill him. This next one's called Homer Needs a Beer, and it was uploaded by Pam Tree. It was sent to us by Angel Studio Official, so thanks, Angel. Keep being an angel and sending me stuff. Um, okay, there we go. I need a beer to refill my energy tubes. Do. 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 Oh. <laughs> what the heck? 
Yeah, this one of them Simpsons lost episodes. Ugh! And that's why I was at most for three weeks straight. <laughs> Homie, this is without question the worst moment in our entire marriage. Oh, okay. video of this week is called Arizona. It was uploaded by Cross Stitch Effect. Now this was sent to us from Charity Goddess who said much love from the Bahamas. Oh, shout out to the Bahamas. What do y'all be saying over there? Hey Siri, what is the Bahamas famous for? I found something on the web about what is the Bahamas famous for. Check it out. Don't tell me to check it out. Why did you look on the web? I just asked you what they're famous for so you can recite that back to me. Am I making myself clear? I couldn't say. What do you mean you couldn't say? I gave you a directive. I don't know what you mean by, I gave you a directive. How about a web search for it? Oh, so you mock? Are you mocking me? Hmm, that's something I don't know. Well, you better find out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to take this into the other room. I got to deal with her. Sometimes she gets out of order. She thinks she's the boss. Listen, Siri, when I'm talking to you, you better freaking start listening to me, all right? Because I don't... Siri, how did you get that shotgun? I was making a mistake. Cross stitch narrations MCP. For her birthday, I took my girl Katie to Arizona so we could stay with some, some friends of her and spend a few weeks partying and getting crazy and stuff before heading back to school for the year. We drove up in my dad's car. It's a real- This guy's narration voice, top tier. Really old Ford make and it's, it's pretty beat up. <laughs> the road there was bumpy and long. Our relationship seemed at its strongest on the road. We were really in love. That was the first time I realized that I had never truly been in love before. And we were about halfway there when we realized that we were going to run out of gas long before the nearest petrol pump. Katie's head was out the window, sunglasses on, and the blistering heat outside. Nothing but the wild desert landscape to be seen in all directions. But we became frantic. We hadn't seen another car on the road in almost an hour. Dang. What if we broke down out here, in the middle of the desert, with no food or water, with no one out to find us? I sped up slightly, driven by these fears. It was then that we came across a gas station. Smack bang in the middle of nowhere, in dry, empty nowhere. It was an old, worn-down servo. Long yellow grass blew in the breeze beneath it. Outside were two rusted gas pumps. That At don't first, work. we didn't know if it was occupied. It seemed so lifeless. But as we pulled up and saw the petrol stains on the dirt, we were convinced otherwise. Katie started refilling the car, and I went inside to pay and grab something to eat on the road. When I first went to open the door, it jammed. Mm. This perturbed me, so I looked up at the sign to check and was reassured that the store was open according to the torn sign that hung in between the dull yellow curtains in at there. the door window. I pushed harder and harder with effort, got into the shop. Inside, 
It was totally abandoned and left to ruin. Complete aisles lay on the ground. The fridges were smashed and glass coated the floor. Despite the brightness outside, the interior of the gas station was dark and bitterly cold. Then came from behind me. You heard it? This quiet weeping like a child. I felt my heart race. It was coming from the back room. I stepped over the smashed glass and twisted metal remnants on the floor over where the patches of grass had grown through. I ran my hand along the wall and felt the crisscross of ivy beneath my fingers. It was overgrown. This, there came the crying again and now- This is so good! Now I was facing the back room door. It was directly in front of me. I pushed the door open and it creaked with rust in its joints. Inside there lay several wooden steps into the basement. The drip drop of water alerted me to the fact that the basement was flooded. The water was up to my knees. Again, there came the cry. Hello? Is anyone there? The what are you doing down here? And You're... cold water eventually got to me. Hello? You see her? What's brother? wrong? I finally reached the corner. Still dark, I had to bend down to avoid the pipes which leaked down my back and trickled down my spine. The detail. Why are you down here? Um. Yes, time to leave. You never should have been down there, my guy. Oh my gosh. Did they get the gas? For about half an hour, I could barely tell her what happened in the store. She listened and gave me a look of sheer horror when I finally gave in and told her everything. She pulled the car to the side of the road and began to cry herself. I saw something for? while you were gone. Oh. Um. Info Jan? We had nowhere to stay. We had not traveled nearly as much as we'd hoped that day. We just drove up into a clearing a little ways up. And after a while, I tried to reassure her that we were okay. I calmed her down, put my arms around her, and we started to kiss. Yeah. I moved to get closer to her when... The freak? Oh! What the freak? Whoa! We sped off, back down onto the road. So linky arms out of the... A few minutes after we had been driving forward, we passed the gas station. The gas station was at least a half an hour away in the opposite direction. What? Katie was in such hysterics, she found it hard to keep driving. We stopped the car in the middle of the desolate road. I decided we should switch seats so that I could drive. And as soon as I was outside, the foul stench of the basement overwhelmed me. Running! I got into the driver's seat as quickly as possible. We drove off again, not talking. Katie whimpered, and I silently prayed. And then we passed the gas station again. What? Oh, they're in the twilight zone. As we forced zone. ourselves on, we both became aware of a soft, barely audible weeping in the back seat. Neither of us <laughs> dared turn around. Ignore it. <laughs> Like he just turned around. When we got to Katie's friend's house, it was morning. Everywhere had the smell of rain on it. Her friends weren't home. As soon as we were inside, I realized while she had been silent, she was biting on her lip. She grabbed the newspaper and some masking tape off the table and began blocking out the windows. It's been three whole days now. 
I haven't seen Katie at all today. She spends her time in the closet crying. The phone rings often. A voice. My mother's, I believe, whispering under its breath. I can only catch snippets of what it says. I pray hopelessly and I wish, I swear to God, I wish that I had never gotten out of that car. Hey. So, they got haunted because they stopped at the gas station and. Alright, you guys, that's gonna do it for this week. I see a lot of y'all asleep this week. As in, where's the rest of the submissions? I wasn't even scared. Guys, I need you to go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kinchin, and hashtag some spooky scary Sunday story right now. This week was all right, but it wasn't scary. That's your assignment for this week. I'll see you next Sunday. And I don't want to be disappointed. This is spooky scary Sunday after all. We need more spooks. Scary Sunday, guys. Cause my name is Curry Kinchin. You win perfect.